Hey, uh, it's Kyle Buck's uh, Sort of Okay Show About Horses. We're here at Jersey Fresh and we're excited to uh, be broadcasting from here. We're going to do a daily uh, daily dose here, sort of morning to give an update on what's going on during the day and then an evening breakdown on how poorly everybody else did and how great I did. That was my goal anyways. It would be a short show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyways, we're at the press tent right now, we're pretty excited about being here, but we thought at the beginning we'd do a review of the last couple of events, because we've both been kind of busy and haven't got around to actually reviewing this stuff. Um, Kyle's at the press tent. Exactly, I'm at the press tent, this is the first time yeah. it's happened in like... We have a lot of pictures coming for everybody. This is going to be all over Facebook now. Yeah, exactly. Kyle's at the press tent before we did anything. I think I'm going to start actually interviewing people just so I can get into the press tent. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, in our, in our coverage of the last little bit, the first thing I have to poorly uh, say is that Buck won Rolex in our sport. Um, I think mine was, my team was a complete disaster. Disaster. Rolex, I beat you. That was Yeah, it was a complete disaster. My team folded like a house of cards. It was horrible. What I think, that was the biggest shit thing that and you know, it, it, it is actually interesting. I always try to take people where I think, you know, that could be the one, it could just step up. But what you did was absolutely correct as far as picking teams, which is you picked people that were dependable instead of that one has a chance at it. And it paid off. And that's how teams are picked in real competition. And that's a bit boring when you do it that way, but yeah, it was still so obvious. <laughs> So, um, that, uh, Rolex was, you know, obviously ran really well, I, I mean, we both rode there, you were happy with the course and everything? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a typical Eric course for me, I had to be honest, I didn't know the course that bad, I couldn't get into it, like, I'm not that big, so, too many of the same things you got in there, like, I'm not sure, slow down, <laughs> jump a drop, a log with a drop, turn or something, and, um, you know, it's not the typical course that you need to see. Um, I had a few things to be safe, and everybody came back and helped me, and it was good. You know, was good. That was a good thing. Um, I just uh, really liked to see the flow. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to go on that one, so I'm not going to go on that Well, I thought it was interesting because it did change the direction a little bit. And when I walked it, I was like, the, after the first sort of two minutes, I was walking with someone, I was like, you know, the thing is, we've been climbing. Like, you climbed for, for the first. You climbed up and then you went down a little bit and then you started climbing again. <coughs> so you actually didn't get a chance to really make up a lot of time until you passed the oxer on top of the hill. And so I was like, if you're going to do something, you got to really start making your move then. Which, um, you know, because of the rain and the, and, the, and the conditions, it became very difficult for anybody and nobody made the time. And uh, I mean, the closest was Michael Young. And he certainly was, you know, he was going for to make that win and uh, all the way he rode that horse forward and this very fast horse with lots of experience and it still missed the time, so. I think experience was a big thing. You, you know, you had to, you couldn't get behind and catch up. No. Right? So you had to know your horse and know that he had, he could go the trip and you had to start off really fast and um, so the ones that were close had experience um, yeah. and, you know, the other ones didn't and, um, but at the end of the day, it was a great competition. Um, it was by far the hardest show that we had ever been a part of my life. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it made it exciting for the crowd. And um, it just wasn't that exciting for you, No, I think it was a little, I honestly, I did not, I mean, I didn't have the best trip in the show or something. Um, but that can happen with my horse. But I thought when I watched and I saw what else going on for the other horses, I was like, well, mine doesn't look so bad today with, with how the competition is ending up. But, to me, that's a little bit demoralizing for the competition. I think that it's fine, you know, a couple rails, and then you're going to have a random people that sometimes have that, oh my god, it just all went to, to hash. But I just, I thought that it was, there. What that end of it, I wasn't I wasn't happy with. Because I think at the end of the weekend, you want those horses to feel like there's, there's a reason for it. And I thought that some of them just sort of gave up midway and were like, oh my god, this is the way we're having to make this work. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, you know, I knocked down plenty of rails. I was disappointed with that, but for me, I felt like if I could have gone in a fourth time, yeah. then, then I would have done better. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it was, you know, I felt like I would, you know, sort of mental error on my part in that I was so worried about the time that I got galloping and that last line was so short. And I guess, I mean, Jesus, I, like, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't do it right, I didn't know how to do it, and uh, I screwed up 
three times. Yeah. I'm a slow you learner. You are a real slow learner. Well, but <laughs> but um, I, I thought it was exciting to watch. Um, and, you know, sometimes when the time's so easy, then you can take so much time in your turns. And, you yeah. know, and you, you had to have a nice jump clean. You had to ride well out of a nice rhythm. And yeah. Stuff. I just I think when you've got those long five stride lines and you're trying to make that's what I mean and that's a little bit what caught me I went inside everybody else's turns because I know I'm not the fastest in the show jumping and when I came out you said you know how did you make time in there and I went the whole way but the problem for me is then on those long lines where you're going on the five mine doesn't always set back as well as he could at the end and uh, I mean whatever it's, it is what it is it's a competition and the people that do well do well and that's I mean I didn't do well enough but I don't you make time I did didn't make the time but as slow as I am I think it was yeah. pretty remarkable but I think that uh, to me the big thing is is I just like to see I don't like to see a, a ton of rails not that I can't sometimes have that but I'm talking about like in general through the whole competition I don't like to see horses coming away with that four and five rails because it should be uh, it was a little too common I thought there. So but you're saying like a jersey maybe we should make the jumps two foot six. It depends. If I'm in first really they should be two foot six, absolutely. Maybe right? two foot three. Yeah. Okay, anyway. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it was it was a great competition and how yeah. the crowd man like oh it was sold out for Friday, sold out for Sunday. And the weather wasn't <clears> the best but it was still people were turning up. It was fantastic. And again yeah. Rolex always does a great job. I liked the cross country that nobody made the time because I think it opens up the opportunities for people and and yet still you know the guys that were, you know, the guys that were in there and in, in, in there for the competition, they still are fast. They're still making the, sure. making the <clears throat> I, just, I thought it was great. No, I, I think it's awesome that nobody makes the time. Yeah. I just, it, I just think he could have been a maybe. I talk about the demoralizing well, part, like to go back through that last water, which for me was training level. Yeah. And then to do a U-turn back towards the barn and then say, you know, one more time to go off a hill <laughs> and around another corner. Yeah. And I just felt like, you know, certainly my last horse. You know, it's their baby, but sort of like, you know, I felt the bad going on. I thought, yeah. God, this poor thing doesn't need to spin around one more time. And, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, that was the portion. That's what I was, and I didn't win. Yeah. So, it's up. The only thing I... <laughs> 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 pretty much, yeah. The, um, the, only thing I, the only thing I saw all day that I was, like, a little... That I thought was very poor as far as the riding, because I think at the end the riding was all quite good. Um, there was one horse that... Definitely wasn't prepared well enough. I was tired on the course. I got to watch a lot because I went early enough, and um, it wasn't. It was too tired. It was not prepared well enough for the competition, and it ran out of gas. And it was too far from the end to say I'm going to nurse this one home. And she kept going, and she actually the horse landed off of the table and just didn't get it done. Landed and crumpled in. The horse is a fantastic horse, and to me, when you're in this sport. They don't. The horses don't enter the event, and you should always be just ready to say, you know what, this is not, this isn't right. I'm not saying there's enough risk in this, anyways. But the horse shouldn't come away going, I've given everything I've got, and I can't actually get this done. And it was very apparent that that was what was going on. And obviously, we all talk about all oh, in the heat of the moment. You don't know, but you have a lot of time to think in between those fences when the horse is like, you know, it's your first time. It's different, but when you've done it enough, you should go. Well, this is not the same horse that I usually ride, and I need to just pull it out. And so that was the only thing I saw all day that I was like a little, when it was going on, I both, like there was a few of us sitting there and I was like, well, it's not going much further. And it had, and then it actually fell at the next jump and I was like, well, I didn't expect that, but it was pretty obvious it wasn't going to come home. But, you know what, though, so, like, it's happened to me where I went from home one that was exhausted and it fell down and fell down me and didn't go for a little while. And I felt terrible. It was a cash ride for me at the time. And, um, you know, the ground here was really nice to me. And, you know, and I just apologized and I said, I'll never do it again. And at the end of the day, you have to get to the line and cross it once to not cross it again. Yeah. And, you know, so I think, you know, um, you know, I, I don't know everybody's situation, but like for me at Babington, <clears throat> I knew when I was getting close to that line yeah. because I'd gone across it once. Yeah. And, um, it, you know, it, because I made a mistake one time, I don't know that I'm a bad person, that I don't care about horses. I just didn't know. I didn't have the experience that I have now. Yeah. And, you know, I don't, you know, know exactly what happened to that, you know, but maybe they didn't have the experience, you know. I guess with judging it a little bit, like I said, is if you hadn't been on, like if I had gone, like I'm very <coughs> conservative on the day for myself for multiple reasons, but 
because I have a history with the horse, if I felt like the things were not going, then I know. And if you're going for the first time on a horse, then maybe you're kind of making it up as you go along, but I think there's enough history to say, this does not feel at all like it should feel, and <clears> so we'll just pack it up. But sometimes the competition gets in the way of making the right decision, but that's what I thought in that particular situation. Um, anyways, on to badminton. Uh, we didn't do a show for badminton because we both, I, I left Rolex drove home, for a day and a half and then flew to badminton coach. Buck left on the Sunday to badminton to ride. And um, we just, I mean, we just have been kind of going at it pretty hard the last couple of weeks and um, <clears throat> didn't get around to doing a show. But I would have won that one. My team looked really good, whoever it was. So and go my, team. Way to go, Libby. Coach, right here. Yeah. <laughs> His number's going to be right on the bottom. Exactly. If anybody wants to call, looking He'll for teach donations. You how to not get tired on the cross country and know when to stop. You'll also you know, but it was awesome. Libby was fantastic in Kentucky. Uh, yeah. I mean, at badminton. Um, you know, she won the under 25. Yeah, mm -hmm. she won the under 25, which is huge deal. over there. Right? Like, that's like, a uh, major deal. I think we missed. I don't think she's on the under 25 without being right away, is she? No, no, of course not, because yeah. you have to actually, I don't know what you, you have, have to get on that. Yeah, and this is a kid that produced her own <laughs> horse from, I mean, it was a, it's just a, it's a, you know, it's one, what of, story. one of these when you bought when she bought it basically and she's brought it on and not lost her way. We were in the in the trade fair actually and we we're talking to someone who had helped her for a little while and he was like, you know, congratulations for being here. It looked great yesterday. And I think I told you just to get rid of the bugger and and it, she heard that from a lot of people and um, you know, she pers persevered with it, but it wasn't <clears> she jumped around. She really like she looked good. She was comfortable the whole way around. The horse um, came through awesome. really well. She looked awesome. Man. Yeah, kids she got was, nerves of steel. She was a hell of a lot faster than you did. Yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely. That's not saying much. She's faster in massage than I am. <laughs> she made time in the show jumping. Yeah, and um, I, she did her like. I mean, I, I should I never even. I didn't know. I heard her name. I never seen her before. No. My life before this trip. And uh, yeah, at the age she is to do what she did. Yeah, unbelievable. Awesome. The other thing that's cool with her is like we were in the barn and um, you know you were the, you were the first out and for for was she gone or you'd gone first? Who was first? She she, know, went, before, she went and then you didn't have you didn't have a good go and you know I know and I coach a lot of kids who've been like yeah now I'm looking better and she was genuinely hurt, you know hurt, hurt for you to not get around and then when Boyd fell she was like she was like oh, just, like she really wanted everybody to do well. It's like. I would have been like, oh, thank God she you're done. She'll, 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 <laughs> she'll get yeah. bitter and hateful yeah. like the rest of us. No, that's, um, it's cool. But like, you know, what, a, what a story, and you should be proud of that. That's, uh, that's awesome. And, um, you know, and that's what, you know, makes her successful. Because, you know, look, at the end of the day, bending is all, we're all together. And we all, you know, want each other the best we can. And, um, you know, what a great attitude. And, um, you know, hopefully, uh, have uh, many horses to come. Yeah, and she's going on, she's staying over there to hopefully go to Burley, so that's kind of a, you know, again, it's just a really cool experience for her, and, you know, sometimes these horses take you places you had no idea they were going to take you when you bought them for, like, you know, pennies on the dollar, but um, the rest of badminton, I mean, the course was, it's certainly gone back to being badminton. There was a few years there, it was a little bit quiet and soft. And, one time, so. Yeah, absolutely. And that was on my list to talk about. I mean, so the cross country was challenging. The the time was, I think, doable, obviously. I thought we got very lucky for, for certainly for our horse, we got very lucky with the footing. Because they'd never seen deep mud. He's got little itty bitty feet. And I was worried about that. I thought the American horses probably were standing on good footing for us <laughs> over here, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a lot more holding than I think people could tell on the TV. I mean, it was, if you look at the footprints, they were just down and up. There was no... Yeah. Um, you know, it, it it seemed to if you look at this the results at the end of the day, it definitely got it seemed to get you know even heavier maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, it was a it was bad then, right? Like it, it wasn't easy. Um, you know, um, you know, I'm not sure they're gonna have that bigger speed like that again. I think it was uh, you know, when we walked it. You know, I said, yeah, you have to be a great voice designer. Because for me that was 20 years ago, and um, 
thank God nothing terrible happened. Yeah. But the line that you saw coming off, first of all, you came through the turn and you were aimed at a fence that we had jumped earlier on the course. So they sort of walked on that and you pulled them off that. <clears throat> and the line that you think was the right line didn't end up being the right line and you could there was no you couldn't see the takeoff from the jump. And uh, I checked it out and line. I think the thing that when like we walked it, I had her going the direct route and then because you came to a point on it, well actually when you got to the point and then you rewalked it, you actually aimed to the left and point. I think what happened is the horses would drift down the point a little bit to where they thought they should go. When that happened, the rider had I said, I gotta go over here to the left. And it was just a mistake, I think, on his part. I think that the, 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 the rails needed to be another foot longer because there would have been your true line and it wouldn't have punished the horses and riders. That, the horses and riders, and some of them, they did a very good job in how they presented to it and it still didn't end well. So that's not where it should and be. And if you could have defined the ditch, I think it would have been easier for the riders to know where to go. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're lucky nobody got really hurt. Um, and, uh, you know, it was... Uh, Look, Michael Young is a genius, right? Yeah. That's amazing. And um, uh, he gave us all a riding lesson in the last two weeks. And um, we got to get better. Yeah, well, and I think the thing is I find very interesting watching him go is like you, we come around, like I was parked out here watching some horses warm up yesterday, and I was like, man, there's some fancy horses here, and they're just like so extravagant. When you watch his horses, they're, they're nice horses, but they're not the biggest movers and like Sam going to the water he sits beautifully they and the horse hangs his leg a little bit. They have great hands. Absolutely, but they're not over the top. No, and no. they make some mistakes and he just sits through it and he doesn't get distracted by it and he stays right on job and they trust him implicitly and he trusts them obviously implicitly and that's such a huge part of making it here and and, and obviously he's done everything at home to make that happen. And then in competition he doesn't I mean he just is indifferent like he's not indifferent but he just is completely casual through the whole competition. You hardly see him like get it. Yeah, exactly. So it's fantastic to see. So that was sort of badminton, you know, wanted to go over the, the you know, the Vicarage V was the one thing I thought was quite standout. Obviously the ox are in the water. Everybody was really concerned about that and it was nothing. And I don't think they were concerned about it as difficult as they were concerned about it. Was he out. says it was nothing, yeah. as, he, nothing. as he didn't even ride it. Nothing. It was pretty big when I landed. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, you're a bit of a, by then you're already, you're already out of gas, so. Oh, he went through there flying. <laughs> he I did go through there flying, I'll give you that. He no choice. He was out of flat out. You were, you were going to be taken back. Yep. Um, yep. All right, so then we had the Grand Slam winner, obviously. Like, Michael Young's got, got the lock on that. I think it was great. Might win it next year? Yeah, he might. You Probably. never know. But I'm going to bring this thing. Yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah. Maybe my only chance. Uh, yeah, so these are jackalopes, I think, is what they're supposed to be. But um, yeah. Anyway, nobody cares. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was so. That was um, the last three weeks with with horse shows, and then we've arrived here at uh, Jersey. So before we go on, we're going to call that. Uh, I think that was most of that show, just the review, and then it's going to get sliced, and we're going to come back and we'll talk about Jersey and how great everything's going to be here. Hopefully. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.